So, um... Line. Line, please. I'm Carl. <laughs> I'm Carl. I'm Carl, and uh, I'm the drummer for the band Callaway. Uh, I'm Brian. I uh, sing and play rhythm guitar for Callaway. I'm Craig. I play bass. And then Alex couldn't actually be here today. He lives in New Jersey and could not make it up. Uh, but Alex is our lead guitarist, and he also does backup vocals. And Lisa, Jaja Binks, <laughs> me play guitar when Alex is here. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. I don't know. Um, we don't really exactly know. It's like so all over the place. With, yeah. Uh, where the name Callaway came from. So my favorite hip hop album is called Cali Waves with a dollar sign, and I just wanted to pay tribute to that, the greatest album of all time. So we named the band after that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little. Yep. It's a little embarrassing for the rest of us. Totally. So that's why we don't really like uh, mention that all the time. So some people like to think that it's from the golf club. It's it's not. So. From the hip hop album. It's from yeah. the hip hop album. Mm -hmm. That was exactly uh, where we got the band yeah, name. You, you can't forget the dollar sign. Star that. power. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was uh, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Ben Solo. Um, we used to have uh, another bassist when we first joined the band. It, it kind of actually just started off as. Uh, Brian and Alex, and then they asked me to play drums for them, and then um, what is it? And then we had another person in the band, uh, Matt. He was and a then, traitor. Um, we <laughs> wrote some of the songs with them, and then Part of the um, Brian's a traitor. Forgot really what happened from there, but then um, <laughs> we lost Matt for a little while uh, for the recording and everything, and then we uh, we linked up with Craig actually, and then. Uh, He's been in the band since, so. Yep. So I mean, we I kind of consider this to be like the original cast or the original members. The original cast for the play. Yeah. 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 Until I quit right now. But, yep. Bye, Craig. All right. See you later. You didn't do anything, anyways. I play eight notes on the bass. Yes. Oh yeah. Everyone's been in a ska band at one point. Yeah. Or another. Yeah. Carl's still in a ska band. Carl is just still in recently ska joined one. Yeah. Carl was in a country band. That was I was. Yep, I played covers in the country band. That was cool. Made some money. It's all good. Uh, I was in a few other pop punk bands. It's better than ska. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been pretty good. A lot of people really dug it. Um, we actually got to shop it around a lot. Um, Craig Fall Warped Tour last summer, and um, we got a really good response from that. Um, Lately, we've been starting to demo out some new songs, so we're hoping to get another record together soon. That's a, that's a fun one, Craig. Um, this is not PG-13. Um, we played a, in a garage. It was at a show, a festival called Jelk Fest. And if you're not familiar with jelking, Look I'm up. not going to go into that here. So Urban Dictionary. It, won't be, a, it won't be a Webster Dictionary. <laughs> You were working with them. Who were you working with when they got us that show? I was yeah. recording a band called The Non Sequiturs, and they uh, offered us a show in their garage, and it was really fun. And we actually met a lot of cool fans. Yeah, it was a good time. Our first set of fans. Yeah, that oh. were those four people that were hanging out with and us. And millions ever since. Oh Maybe my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since. yeah, right. <laughs> Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go by Wham. I mean, that's a good one. <laughs> live, we've done a couple different covers. We've done um, Don't Stop Believing by Journey, the anthem by Good Charlotte. We've been playing that a lot lately at shows. We have some extra Green time. Day songs as well. All the Small Things by Sum 41. Um, but for like Blink actually Blink. recording <laughs> a cover, we haven't really thought about like recording a cover as a band lately to put out. So should um, we should do something from the 80s. From the 80s? Yeah. I think we should do another Pour one. some sugar on me! I, I have one on! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Damn, that's harsh. <laughs> Rick Allen was a great drummer. Um, soon. Because <laughs> um, right now we're demoing out a bunch of stuff. Um, hopefully yeah. within the next couple months we're going to have at least a single out or something like that. Um, not. Not sure, but maybe we'll do a video for it. Yeah, a video we're, we're, we're yeah, thinking about it. We've got about like 
10 to 15 songs kind of in the works, but we're kind of going into pre-production for probably a few less of those, and then um, maybe go into another studio or something sometime, sometime down the road, mm -hmm. something, so, yeah. Hopefully within 2016 we'll have a new, a new EP. In the next 20 years we'll put something yeah. out, I mean. The next 2016 years, we'll come out with another one. <laughs> another single. Well, there are metal. There are metalcore fans because our lead guitarist Alex's favorite genre is metalcore. Specifically, he calls it generic metalcore. He's into, and that really comes out through our music because he likes to play like kind of riffs in like a major key. Which kind of does the. He likes a lot of thrash. He likes well. a lot of thrash too, but yeah. just generally metal he likes. I mean, we all kind of like a whole bunch of different genres. I think we all just have pop punk in 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 common, but we don't really, I, I wouldn't say like pop punk is one of my favorite genres. Um, I mean, I like it, it's fun to play, it's happy sounding, some of it's great, but I mean like what I kind of grew up on was like blues, jazz, uh, 80s rock, um, I mean like a little bit of pop and stuff. I mean, I really like a whole bunch of different stuff, so I mean, definitely like more than just pop punk. You know? Yeah, I like pop punk. I mean, I grew up before pop punk really started. I I grew up on pop punk as like the original wave of pop punk, like the '90s wave of Green Day and Blink One Eight Two, and I guess you could call them early No Effects pop punk and that kind of stuff. And then with the early 2000s, I was into like Good Charlotte and. Some 41. Simple plan. Simple plan. So I grew up with pop punk, so I've always loved it. Some 41 is great. But I uh, yeah. also am really into reggae music, ska music, jazz, and just like everything across Wham. the board. I, a lot of, I like a lot of 80s pop, like Wham and Culture Club. That's fun. Um, so basically anything. I listen, I have a really weird playlist. Not 80s rock, though. I, I don't like 80s hair metal. That's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I like all of it, but mostly, I like, especially Sum 41 was one of like my big inspirations growing up that got me into playing guitar and everything like that. I mean... Five Seconds of Summer. Craig would... Ten, okay, and so we've got Five Seconds of Summer. We've got... Carl, who, who else goes on our, our dream tour? Uh, Steel Panther. So we've got Steel Panther, Five Seconds of Summer, Us... Um, I'm gonna just uh, say Green Day for the heck of it because you know they haven't played out in a while and it'd be okay. really cool to play with them. Blink 182 is gonna. Blink 182 would be cool, but the whole yeah, but, yeah. not original member thing lately. Mm, yeah. But it would still be pretty fun. Well, we should just tour with Angels and Airwaves because they're the best. They're pretty good. Interesting songs. Anyway, so and then are we saying Dream Tours? We want to see. Yeah, sure. As well. I want to see without the, us. Um, I want to see for like a dream tour. I think it would be like the um, the the band from Job of the Huts, Job of the Huts band. Oh, the Max. I think it's Max Bebo band. No, yeah. no, no, it's not. I forgot you know the name this. of it is. But yeah. But that band. The band of bits. The Cantina band or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Cantina band. Star Wars. Can this be living or dead? Dead. Go for it. It's your dream. Dream. Dream big. Oh, my dream, dream tour. Dream bigger goal. Nobody's <laughs> dead in your dreams, Craig. My <laughs> dream tour would be to see The Clash with Joe Strummer. Nice. Rest in peace. And I think just The Clash. <laughs> just just three sets. Clash, of the Clash dream tour. The Clash, maybe the Ramones. And rest in Dave peace Matthews times three. <laughs> no, no. What are you doing? Stop. It's The Clash. What Clash and the Ramones. That's cool. Together. Shit on me all you want, but Dave Matthews Band is... They're good. Musically. They can probably do a solid live performance, but I don't they think do. he's throwing them on his... Uh, I, they're not no. on... We're talking about Sorry, my dream. Your dream. Sorry. You did your dream tour. You, yeah. you wasted it on... Mr. Mr. Interrupticon. <laughs> Cantina Band. So it would be The Clash, um, The Ramones, Rancid, mm. and uh, The Specials. That would be my dream tour. That's good. Cool. And 
I guess good as, dream. as typical as that is. It's a good dream. <laughs> For me, uh, probably Creed, Three Doors Down, and Nickelback. And every single like date cool. on that tour, they're gonna play in a different order and just see if people can figure out which band they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dream tour. Call the Make America. I love, I love make, a good mystery. Make music great again tour. Daisy Ridley from Force Awakens. Yes, I'm, I, da I'm down for that. I, I heard that. And then we were discussing like if Bob Marley was still alive, we'd love to the, him to just like spit a verse on one of our songs. That'd be dope. It'd be out of like left field, but it'd be awesome. Uh, Bernie Sanders. No, oh God. Bernie Sanders is first Trump. Bernie Sanders. <laughs> it's just like rap battle. On one of Bernie songs. Sanders is actually spitting a, a verse on our next um, album. It is uh, called uh, I don't know. Social. He doesn't know. It's going to be called. We're just going to have one song with yeah the rap battle. Yeah, it's cool. Sounds good. It's going to be a trophy wife. Your trophy wife. No. I do not have tro trophy wives. Trophy wives. Yes. Uh, Shout out. I don't know. I guess if it was like a real thing, I think it'd be like my drum set and stuff. So I kind of like yeah. I I think that because I mean otherwise I mean they're not really possessions if they're like human like human beings. That's true. They're people, you know. You yeah. can't possess a person or a being. I mean, a ghost can do that, but you know. Oh, like, yeah. Well, this is demons. a poltergeist. You know. Yeah. What's Not yours? Really. Pri most prized possession. My old man car, I guess. I don't know. For like an item. Your old man car. I mean, it's ah, oh, that's, your that's old what, man car. Yeah. yeah, my old man and his car. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, is that what you call your no, dad? No, I've got a man. I've got a old Buick that. I, People tell me I drive in a grandpa car, so mm -hmm. uh, you just need. I love that thing. Next, um, my most prized possession is this Jar Jar Binks plush toy. Limited edition? No, no I don't know. Oh, I just had it no, for just a really long time. It's really important edition. to me because it's Jar Jar, and he's the best character ever written into any movie ever. The least annoying character ever. He, he's like your spirit animal or something. Yeah, this is me. And, I mean, I guess you said you can't own a person. As a possession, so I, I I don't feel like I don't, I like I just have him as a good friend. Yeah. Is he your buddy growing up? <laughs> this is getting emotional. <sighs> Damn, dude! I know first like broken heart and oh now this God. man. You need you might need to take a break. Last Valentine's Day, I uh, I gave Brian a card, and um. He didn't give me one back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say the worst time I've been injured was when I was sledding and like, I was going on the hill. You can't break a broken heart. You can't fix a broken heart. And I caught my knees on a rock, but that's pretty good. Oh, You take the cake on that one. I had surgery for appendicitis. <laughs> That, that was it. Wow, Craig. Take it home the gold uh, on that one. I recommend you check out Firestarter and Trophy Wives because they're killing it right now. I mean, I could say Bad Year. I haven't talked to them in a while. Uh, Bad Year's from Florida. And then uh, Firestarter's from New York and Trophy Wives is from Rhode Island. Bad Year is recording new new music, I heard. So definitely be on the lookout for that, and also be looking out for new music from Capstan. Oh, oh, it's my turn now. Yeah. Uh, I, you should look at this little band called Nickelback and Limp Bizkit. Yeah, they're good guys. They're up and coming. I mean, we played a few shows with them, and they they just look really supportive. Like, yeah. Really, really good guys. Yeah. Uh, they're also really good friends with another one of one of my bands, uh, ICP. Saying clown posse, dude. I, I'm really respectable. Like I think, uh, I, I think so too. They really kind of made their own genre of music and their own like kind of following. Yeah. So when I mean when 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 Bang Pow Boom came out, I was just like, oh my yeah, god, just, Jungle Islands. This this drops, album oh. speaks to me like on a deeper level. You know, like Juggalo Juggalo lifestyle fam. You know. 
like we can say anything to the fans. Just thank you so much for supporting us, um, for checking out our music, for just being awesome fans. Um, without you, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing now, and we really appreciate it. Huge support from all you guys. Really love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Thank you. This is why we do it for you guys. Um, uh, it's called Avalanche. Uh, it's off of our EP before you go. Hope you like it.